in the house. Nah, let me stop. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. B from Hey Yo Barbecue. Your world renowned. Let's see. Say it with me. Your best in the world. Outdo. Indo barbecue. That's what I'm talking about. Alright. So today I decided I'm gonna cook leg quarters. And I figured I'd use my Weber kettle grill, right? I got a couple products I use. Y'all know about Big Bertha, Shirley Fab. Y'all know I got a Smoky Mountain Weber. I use as well. I got rid of my Choi Brawler. Had that for like 12 years, man. I gave it to a guy that did some, uh, some tree cutting services for me in the backyard. Gave it to him. Um, not at a discount rate, but just gave it to him. You know how to kindness my heart. But uh, I did some serious maintenance on that thing. I should have shot a couple videos on that because uh, I modified it. Had the dryer vent going in it. You know what I'm saying? To get the even temps on both sides. Had the firebox over there every year. Oh, I'm going off top. But anyway, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, leg quarters. Back to the leg quarters. We're going to go on in this house and cook up a, uh, uh, hook up a concoction that we're going to put on this grill. Just stuff that normal people would have in their house. See you in the kitchen. All right, we back. YouTube. All right, got my leg quarters right here. Like I said, I'm about to put these in the sink. First of all, make sure you clean your sink before and after. Just because chicken, you don't want nobody spreading salmonella and all that good type stuff. Actually, bad type stuff. But anyway, like I said, today we're going to do leg quarters on my Weber uh, kettle grill. And uh, what kind of season I'm using today? I'm going to show you. Bam. Yep, you can't get this. Right, this is authentic jerk seasoning. All right, not that stuff made in the states. But anyway, all right. So roughly, I'm just dump these out and then spread them, make it easy. And you want to coat them lightly on each side. And this jerk seasoning is potent, so I'ma just, I'ma just uh, rub it in a little bit with my hands. I know what you're probably thinking. Oh, you should have a shake and all that. Get all that. I got too much of this stuff to be doing all that. Um, like I said, lightly coated. Easiest way is to just stir it all around. Actually, I mean, I didn't have to put none on the other side. But. We're gonna do it around to uh think that's enough. Yeah, I think that's gonna be enough because this stuff here is poke. Alright. There you have it, ladies and gents. I'll see you out on the grill here shortly. Alright, you two. We back in the house. We have a credit kettle grill right here. Is that about 350? Um show them that real quick. 350. I don't know if you can see that. All right, we're gonna take this top off, put this chicken on there. I'm gonna show you how I position my charcoal. There we go. Got it off to one side, right? Actually, hold on for a minute. I'm missing some. Need me some uh, oil on that. Give me one second. All right, here we go. Bang. Spray this on now. So the canola oil is probably going to flare up real quick and then go back out. I already cleaned it off. Good to go. All right? I want my chicken sticking too bad. Now I'm ready for y'all. Sorry for that. All right. So basically what you're doing, I'm putting my chicken down, skin down. All right, because if that's the first thing to burn, then uh, obviously I can still eat the top of it. Actually, let me make some some little puzzles in here. We're just gonna let this sit, y'all. I don't really give a time on my, my 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 chicken when it comes to cooking that, just for the simple fact that uh you want to make sure this is done. 
about 160, 65 degrees uh, is when I know it's done. Or safe for consumption, as they call it. Alright. Bam. Flipping that over. And last but not least, there you go. And there you have it. I'm about to put this top on. Notice how I put the top on, right? Got my charcoal over here. I'm going to turn my top this way. So now, when you watch the temp rise, but now my heat has to rise and come over here, cook chicken a little bit more, and then go out. So we'll be back uh, probably in about 30 minutes to an hour, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, uh, to see just where we at. I'll be back in a minute. All right, everybody, we back. Grill's hovering around 400 degrees. It's been about uh, an hour. Yeah. And uh, I need to flip this over, part in the rain. But rain, sleet, or snow, we get down right here. Right. So let's just see these real quick. I'm gonna hurry up and flip them over. Yes, yes, yes. You don't need to flip these all the time, right? So you got that 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 uh that novice, that new newbie that's on the grill and he's flipping everything over all the time. He don't know what he's doing. Alright? You set your charcoal right, you don't have to flip these maybe once, twice. Alright, let me hurry up before this rain do something to my chicken that we don't want to happen. Ooh, them leg quarters looking real mighty fine that on there. Alright, here we go. Put the top back on. Crank that lid up, open a little bit. And we'll be back. Yes, sir. We back. Uh, grill still hovering around. It's about 300 now. Slowly dying down or whatnot. Try my thermal pin here. See what these tips looking like. See if this chicken is uh done. Woo! Yeah, look at that. Juice still coming out. It says 207. All these above 165. That's all I care about. Like I said, it's over to the side. There's another mental note, right? Like a lot of people like crispy skin on their uh, chicken. Um, look at that. You see juice steady coming out. So no. For all y'all uh, YouTubers out there that, that, that say, oh, he overcooked it. Man, you see the juice coming out of it. Beautiful. Beautiful. But that's indirect cooking. I would never do that over here if I had it on top. So I'm going to go ahead and take these off. Like I said, if you want crispy chicken, just throw it over here for like five minutes, maybe two and a half minutes each side. Flip it over. Get it nice and tight. got to watch it, though, because if you don't, It'll go berserk on you, and then you got some charred chicken, right? So we're going to take this in, because I don't want the crispy on that right now. Um, I like mine just like this. I'm going to take it in, and then uh, we're going to go from there. Let, let it cool down, let the kids devour. But anyway, don't forget to like my videos, comment, subscribe. I'm going to keep bringing these videos to you, raw and uncut. And on another note, we're getting close to 100 subscribers. So I thank you guys. I know that's a small number. A lot of people watch but don't subscribe. I know it's a small number. But that's a big in my, my eyes. That means 100 people like something about all the videos I'm posting for me to keep doing it. So I, I want to say thank you guys. Um, more to follow on that. More to follow on that. Like I said, here's your leg quarters on a Weber Kettle Grill. Have any questions, hit me up. Holla.